Okay. Now that the grand finale was over. Good evening, everyone. 706. Uh, we're, uh, I'm working on this uh, little 150, Cessna 150 F model. Um, doing a 100 hour on it. But as you can see, it's a little dark outside. <laughs> um, so, and it's Friday night. Friday night. Late on Friday night. It's seven, just after seven. Eight minutes after seven. And I'm still here. I thought I would film because I was kind of bored. I'm here all by myself. Um, but yeah, so I got uh, some uh, brakes to fix, a brake line, and then I got a, a uh, floorboard right under a seat rail that's cracked that I'm going to repair. And that's going to be tonight. It's going to be a late night tonight, but I'm glad you guys are here with me and uh, show you a few things. It's going to be fun. I'm excited. Oh my goodness. Look at that moon. I wish you guys could see this moon so bad. That moon is insane. I'm going to see if I can get a better picture. One sec. All right, there's the picture, but man. It's so much more impressive in real life. And now I just saw a 747 fly across it. <sighs> I had a full eclipse with 747 flying right across it. All right, so this is going to be really freaking hard to see for you. Now I'm going to turn the flash on. No, that's not that hard, actually. You see that? Yes, you can. That, that little thing right there, that is a tiny, tiny pinhole. That little line, that little black line right there, that is a pinhole in the brakes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it off right there where that pinhole is, and I'm going to shorten this line. So here we are, we got this nice little, uh, just little cutter. It's one of the nicer ones. Smaller, compact, it's ideal for aircraft maintenance. I actually don't know what brand it is. Um, I'll tell you if I knew. For now, and you just, uh, how you do it, and most of you guys know, is you just tighten this down and it gets tighter and tighter and that little blade in there, a little circular blade, it will eventually cut it but you know what this is a bad idea um, I need to get a bucket or something that will allow fluid to drain here we are I'm gonna get some wrenches all right so this is the little sleeve Right there, I have my hand. As you can see it's leaking now, as expected. I need this sleeve to go up a little further. All right, there we go. That moon is amazing, man. Beautiful. All right, there we go, look at that. Now I'm gonna demonstrate what I'm gonna do to this. I've got this nice little tool here uh, that gets that like inner like squished. You know, when I was cutting it, it kind of squishes in a little bit of the, the rigid line material. And so what you do to get rid of that stuff is you twirl this little guy around.
There you go. Look at that. So yeah, what we're doing is using this to flare the the end of this. And this is just a practice run. I always want to practice a little bit. See how that one looks. A little too tight it looks like. Alright, but it, it's still the same size as the other one though. So Looks pretty darn good to me. Yeah, looks good. So I'm just gonna put it back on. It's as easy as sliding this sleeve back down. All right, so yeah, I just tightened that down, but now I gotta go get a, uh, a holder clamp. Uh, I gotta get this. All right. So now we got our screwdriver. And do we have the right tool? We do. Boom! Look at that. It's all done. That's what that is. That is all done. That's fancy, huh? All right, I'll clean up after my mess here, and we'll move. Well, actually, you know what? I'm gonna move to the. Uh, I'm gonna run this thing up, and then. You know, I'm. I'm, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna freaking uh, just do the floor, the floor project. Actually, I'm getting way ahead of myself. I'm going to do the the brakes. That's what I'm gonna do. We gotta bleed the brakes because we let all the fluid out. So now I gotta, I gotta get all the air out of the system and add fluid to it. But happily, I'm going to do it. There's two ways to do it. Most of you guys know there's it requires two people. One has to be inside pumping the brakes, and one has to be out here at the brake caliper um, to let out the air. But how I'm going to do it is I'm going to pump fluid up through the bottom, and it's going to push push all that air. Here's uh, the old clamp. I got to take this off. Push all the air up and out, and it's going to go to the master cylinder, which we had actually just. So this is the other way. Actually, that previous video, the Cessna brake service, or yeah, the Cessna brake service video. I did it the other way, where you add it at the um, the uh, brake uh, master cylinders. This way is the other way you can do that, and we're going to do the same thing, but we're we're pushing it up into that cylinder. But, uh, so we'll sh show you that in this video. Then I'm going to set up a camera up here. We're going to use our rags here. I'm going to set up my phone camera in here. Uh-huh, with the flash on. So we are servicing the left side. Oh dear. All right, so that's it there. So we're gonna take that out like the regular. There we go, got it. I'm just uh, cleaning it off because this one's kind of nasty. This plane is kind of a rough plane, but it's airworthy, believe it or not. Well, after this inspection, it will be. So now, what you guys' job to do is watch that deal down here. Stick this bad boy under. This is what we're after here. All right. 
since there's so much air in there anyways, I'm not going to worry about getting this out. Well, you know what? I will. Got to make sure there's no air in these lines. There we go. And again, this thing has pressurized air in it and fluid in it. There's pressurized air up here in this top half. There's a tube going from here all the way down to the bottom. So the air, the compressed air, pushes the, the fluid down and through that tube and out. That's how that works. So now, I'm going to add fluid. Oh, oh, there it is. Would you look at that? No leaking. <laughs> Got it. All right, sweet. Fixed it. Oops. Cool.